Hi guys, welcome back to In Case of Econ Struggles, welcome to another micro struggle. Today I want to talk about Marshallian demand. Specifically, I want to talk about three elasticities you can find with Marshallian demand and how you can use those elasticities to tell you something about what sort of goods you have in your problem. So timestamps are below if you would like to jump around, but let's go ahead and get right into it. So by getting right into it, again, I'm going to talk about some elasticities. I'm going to talk about three in particular. So first, I'm going to talk about the price elasticity of demand, or the own price elasticity of demand. Then I'm going to talk about the cross price elasticity of demand, which is going to tell us something about complements and substitutes. Then I'm going to talk about the income elasticity of demand, which is going to tell us something about inferior or normal. And now, for all of these elasticities, remember that it's really the partial derivative of Marshallian demand with respect to whatever we're changing. And then you're supposed to multiply by, for example, in price elasticity pi over x star, but for all of these elasticities, because the prices are positive and generally Marshallian demand is also positive, what we really care about for these elasticities is the sign that we get. And the sign is completely determined by this partial derivative, so that's what we're gonna focus on. So for example, for price elasticity of demand, if it's an ordinary good, we should get a negative number. For cross price elasticity of demand, if we're gonna get a positive number, then that means, for example, if the price of the other good goes up, then the demand for the original good also goes up, which must mean they're substitutes. And if it is negative, they must be complements. So I cover that in a different video, but again, we're just thinking about how to calculate this today. So for incoming elasticity of demand, same thing, where instead of talking about substitutes and complements, we're gonna talk about how if we get a negative elasticity or a negative incoming elasticity of demand, that means that this good is going to be inferior. And if we get a positive elasticity, that means that this is going to be a normal good. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. We sort of know what's happening. Let's do an example with Cobb Douglas Utility. When I do this example with Cobb Douglas Utility, again, I can use this shortcut where X star is just this and Y star is just this. Again, I talk about that in a separate video. But if I jump into, say, the income elasticity of demand for X star, then what I'm gonna say is I'm gonna say, well, this is W, and so I'm just gonna take the partial derivative. Notice that everything here is positive, so we're definitely dealing with a normal good. And again, if you're struggling with some of these partial derivatives, please leave a comment below. And then for the own price elasticity, we're gonna be right here. So again, I've just taken the derivative, PX is in the denominator, and so when I take that derivative, I get this negative guy right here, which means automatically my sign's gonna be negative, so I'm dealing with an ordinary good. Now notice that for both of these Marshallian demands, for X star there's no PY in here, and for Y star there's no PX in here. So that means if I take the cross price elasticities for X or Y, I'm gonna get zero, which means that these two goods are not related to each other. So again, this is a really quick way to show what type of goods you're dealing with in a utility maximization problem. If you've already done the hard work to find Marshallian demand, you can use these elasticities to help tell you if two goods are complements or substitutes, if a good is ordinary, whether or not a good is normal or inferior. So hopefully this is a really quick tip that just helps you out. If this video or these videos are helping you out, please like this video, please subscribe, please put any questions or comments below. We'll see you next time for another case of Econ Struggles.